here's my to-do list. Um, a lot of useful tasks on here. Um, as you can see, I've already knocked out three of them. So fairly happy with progress. What I'd like to do is take those three tasks that I've completed and move them to the end of the file so they're not cluttering up all the other important things that I have to do. So to do that, we're going to move line every instance square plex after file. Drowse. Today's video is about the command you just heard. So there was a lot of components there, and I kind of like this command because, well, it's more useful than my to-do list, uh, and it actually pulls together a lot of disparate pieces of cursorless into one single command. So let's break that down. First, let's undo it. Undo that. Drowse. Okay, so cursorless commands, generally speaking, you kind of read right to left. Um, so um, in the case of a move command or a bring command, you have a source and a destination, right? You're like, what am I moving or bringing and where am I moving or bringing it to, right? So in this case, the destination is after file. Let's not focus on that for now because I think a lot of the more interesting stuff is in the source. In this case, the source is line every instance square plex, okay? And so this is the part that you read right to left, right? So that is one of the, so that is the source of the bring, and so that is a command chain. At the start of the command chain is just a mark, highlight plex, drowse. It's just that X, right, with a hat over it. Okay, so then we take that plex and we say square. So what that's gonna do is expand plex. Uh, sorry, it will be box plex in your grammar if you're using something default. I'm using the term square. Um, so for you, it would be box plex, okay? So I'll say square, and square plex will expand plex to the square brackets containing it. Highlight square plex. Drowse. Okay, so now we have square plex. The next piece was every instance. And so what that's going to do is take whatever comes after it, squareplex, and look in the document for all instances of that text. So in this case, it's looking for square brackets around an X. Highlight every instance, squareplex, drowse. Okay, so that's every instance, squareplex, right? Then the final piece of that source is we take all of these and we apply the, mo the line modifier to it, right? These things go right to left. So we've taken plex, we've expanded it to the squares. We take those squares and use that to look in the document for all the squares. And then we take all of those squares and we expand to the line that contains it, okay? Highlight line every instance square plex. Drowse. So as you can see, what that's doing is it's all the lines that contain square brackets around an X. Okay, that's the source, right? So the source is these three lines. There's three sources, right? Not just one source. Um, and so what we're saying is move those three lines after file, right? So generally speaking, when you say move, you have like three things and you move it to or after three things, right? And it kind of zips them, right? So, you know, I could say, um, um, bring look and pit after ink and made. Drowse. And so basically it takes this source and this source, puts it after this source and this source. However, in the case that you have n sources and one destination, it does what's called broadcasting, basically, where um, it will take those sources. It's kind of like the inverse of broadcasting. <laughs> it basically takes those sources and then it just joins them together and puts them after the target, right? Undo that. Drowse. So in this case, we take these three lines and we take all of them, join them together and put them after that single target, which is file. And because it's move rather than bring, it's going to delete the original lines. Move line every instance square plex after file. Drowse. Highlight nothing. Drowse. Got to work on that highlight updating. <laughs> it looks like it, they stayed where they were. But hopefully that gives you a flavor for um, a command which is useful and also I think highlights a, not, a lot of nice cursorless concepts. So thank you so much for watching and happy coding. Record stop.